Peninsula, Michigan. West Peninsula of Michigan. Is it cold up there, buddy? Oh, hell yeah. It's still cold. It was, it was 20 today. I still got some snow. Uh, hey, I think your phone's cut out, bud. You got a uh, you got a better phone, or or can you get in an area where it's not fuzzy? Yeah, hold on, just give me a second here. Are you Usually upset? worse when you go outside the window and then top, jump on your roof. Is that better? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah that's a little bit better, man. Let's, right. uh, what's on your mind? I got two quick questions for you guys tonight. Sure. One with the uh, with the HBK Taker match at WrestleMania, and everybody figuring that Taker's gonna go over. Do you guys see a rematch at Backlash? Maybe a gimmick match where HBK could. Kind of pick up a pick up a win to even the score. That's possible because I mean, basically, we know Taker's got a, at least another year or two left in him. The guy's still working full time on house shows, like we talked about earlier. And Sean's just not going to be the one that ends that streak. You know what I mean? So as as far as a rematch where Sean could get the revenge at Backlash makes perfect, perfect sense, man. Makes perfect sense. And we're going to have, I think, backlashes. I mean, this WrestleMania is, it's not one of the biggest, the biggest cards in WrestleMania history. You know what I mean? It's, it just seems, it seems a little bit weak to me. So I think we're going to see a lot of these matches again at the backlash pay-per-view. You know what I mean? So as yeah. far as, I think, I think they continue on. Um, with Taker Michaels. You know, I don't think this is the end of it. Maybe they do a casket match or something of that nature. You said a gimmick match at Backlash. I mean, yeah. that would make sense. That would make sense to yeah. me. Yeah. And then my second question here really quick is that, you know, when, with it being the WrestleMania season and everybody likes to talk about the future of WrestleMania, do you guys think the possibility of Triple H and Michaels working a match at WrestleMania in the next year, a couple of years down the line? Hmm. It's interesting. Um... I would buy a ticket for it, but I, I think it's come to a time where, you know, HBK is kind of winding down mm-hmm. on his career and, and, and working a full-time schedule. I don't think that we will probably ever see them to go at it, um, but I could be wrong. Probably. I, 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 think, I think a lot of the younger talent now, I think you've got to put – like an older name in there, like a Triple H in there with a younger guy like Randy Orton. You know, I think uh, a guy like the Big Show in there with a John Cena. You know, I think you have to you have to have a veteran in there with somebody that's a little bit younger because you want you want the rub coming off WrestleMania. You know what I mean? And that's 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 what you get. You know, if these guys go over, if Randy Orton goes over Triple H at WrestleMania, I mean, that's a huge rub. That's in front of seventy thousand people. Normally a million pay-per-view buys, you know, probably not this year. I mean, I've heard people saying, you know, stuff like maybe 500,000, 600,000 buys for this year's WrestleMania. And don't forget that price increase, too, you know. And then keep in mind that just last month, what, we have 500,000 Americans lost their jobs last month. You know what I mean? So, and this goes for UFC, this goes for boxing. I mean, UFC fans are really, really diehard. Not to say that wrestling fans aren't, because they're always going to get over 100,000 pay-per-view buys when wrestling fans order a pay-per-view. But I just, I don't think WrestleMania, I don't think this year's number with the lack of media, the lack of celebrity power, I just don't think you're going to come anywhere close to one million buys. And I know it's WrestleMania, but I know I, I also know you know it's, it's rough times out there for a lot of people, and I don't know if people are going to be willing to put down, what is it, 55 bucks this year? Something along yeah, those lines? 55 dollars for four hours. You know, I mean, it's, it's rough times, so I don't think they're going to come anywhere close to one million pay-per-view buys. I would say, say 700,000 pay-per-view buys at the most. And that's and being I'm generous. Sh- and I'm shooting for about 550, 550,000 buys. If I had to make a prediction, I'd say 550. And that's nearly cut in half from just the last several years, WrestleMania. You know I, I, I mean? honestly think, you know, with 5 million viewers each week, you know, you, you, you take a percentage off of that, and that's usually your rough number. You yeah. know, with, yeah. with, the, with the way the ticket sales have been going, which is pretty much, you know, strong um, for being in a, in a stadium – I think it's going to be up there. I think it's going to be like 800, you know, to 850,000. It's, you know, it, it, SummerSlam did a little bit of, uh, close to 500,000. Um, and that's just the, one of the big events. But, you, you know, here, it, you know, everyone knows WrestleMania, you know. It, so it, it's really true indeed. It's almost just like, you know, if you're a, a casual baseball fan and you don't catch the games, but you catch the biggest one, which is the World Series. You know, it's almost kind of in that in the, in that ballpark when it comes to WrestleMania. 
That's true. That's a great point. Great point. So, I mean, yeah, no, I, 550, which is what I – maybe a, a little bit on the low end, um, you know, maybe 650. I would say 650. Would you say 850, 800, 850? Yeah, I'm going to say um, between 8 or 9. 8 or 9. All right, I'm going to go – I'm going to go between – 550 and 650, and I'm I'm lowballing it, man. I mean that's I really mean, if, they, if they if they did those numbers for WrestleMania, if they did 550,000, 600,000, I mean 35 that, million right there on the on the on the, on the TV at 55 yeah. dollars a pop. That's 55 now, right? I know it's crazy. It's crazy, man, to think how much money, dude, is is made with pay per views, and then people wonder why. Why do they why do they do pay per views every single month? Because that is a huge, huge source of rev- revenue when you have, you know, all those buy rates, right? All those buy rates, and then you have, yeah, they're all paying thirty nine dollars or thirty four dollars. You know, I mean, it adds up. So even when buy rates are low, they continue with these with these with these pay per views. You know what I mean? Because they're always making some serious serious dough off perfect, all pay per views. Perfect example. In your house, remember those? Yeah, you know, that's yep. when the, the the Yankees. Listen to me. <laughs> yeah, that's when the Yankees. That's when the WWE decided to do more monthly pay per views. When they brought in in your houses, you know, in your house, you gave out a free house. It, it, it because it reality is, you know, the cable takes a cut. Of course, you know, you have a certain percentage that you get back from the viewers that are ordering this, but you can easily make fifteen, sixteen million dollars per pay per view. I mean and only invest two or three or four or five million dollars um, you know, in, in promoting it and marketing. So, you know, you're getting a couple of million dollars profit each pay per view. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean lots, lots of money, lots of revenue. A lot of WWE's revenue comes from uh pay per view events and then you've got merchandise sales and you've got lots of other uh other things as well. I mean they've got they've still got a lot of money. Don't think that WWE's broke in any way. I mean they're still thriving right now in a uh in a terrible economy. So what do you uh what do you want to do now, man? Do you wanna run down the WrestleMania card, because we only got about 20 minutes left, and then we got to uh, get out of here because these people probably want to go watch ECW. Let me uh, let me plug the live chat room one more time, WZROnline.com. That's what we'll do, WZROnline.com forward slash chat. Once again, WZROnline.com forward slash chat. Chat shout out time. That's what we're going to do. Little John's the two, Ultimate Fanatic, Super KO, that Ninja Dumas, Velo, uh, man, I always have the same problem. Velo, Velo, Veladia, 34, little, little Wayne, Kai man. Who? The one man. Bethany. Bo- boy's name, boy, boy Nessie or something. Woody. Kuseo. A lot of guests in there. All you guys that are uh, under there in guest names. You guys should uh, just go register. It's uh, TalkShoot.com. All you got to do is uh, register your name once, and then you get a username and password. It only takes uh, a couple seconds to do, so just go register. We don't shout out guests, so that's what we got. We'll shout out TNA. uh, Stop scrolling already. (laughs) (laughs) We got uh, Brink. You know what? Just because he scrolled, I'm not going to give him a shout out. How about that? Six foot (laughs) goods. Six foot good says, "What's up, Ryan? What's crackalacking, buddy? Jericho one thirty three, what's up? All right, so that's some chat. Shout out to wzronline dot com forward slash chat. Let's um, run down the WrestleMania card right now, and um, we'll give our predictions match by match. I got to slap my dog on the ass because he's being a pain in my butt. All right." Well, don't shut up, man. Wants to go outside or something. Did you hear him? Did you hear him right there? I, I, I heard he wants to shout out, too. Yeah, I got a little slap on the ass right there from Ryan Clark. Needs to shut his mouth while I'm doing a live radio show, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, We uh, right, let's talk about it, man. We have, uh, it's not dog abuse. Come on, a little slap on the ass. Not a big deal. Come on, you got to gotta teach your dog a lesson every now and then. But, um, the face. That's where if you're going to hit a dog somewhere, you got to hit it in the ass, not in the face. 
Yeah, right. No doubt. No doubt. He got his. He got his just a minute ago. So it should be quiet for the next 20 minutes. We should have no problems, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and then I go out. But um, all right. So for <laughs> Legend Co. in the chat, to smack a bitch. <laughs> all right. Um, WWE title match. We have Triple H versus Randy Orton. Prediction: Jose Elvatos. Rivera. I say, I say, I look at it, I look at Randy Orton. No, but Randy Orton, all the way. Randy no Orton. question about it. That's going to that's end, the, end the show. Randy Orton is going to have his hand up in the air with the title in his hand. <laughs> Triple H is going to be laying down, and the fireworks are going to go off, and you're going to be suspended until Monday, and then you're going to be like, oh, Triple H now has to fight against Randy Orton. But Randy Orton. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, hmm, hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say Triple H. I'm going to say, you know why? You know why? No, no, no. The only reason I'm saying it, Jose, is because I cannot see WrestleMania ending. I just can't 